Welcome back, family. Please take a moment to get centered. Relax yourself. Take a deep breath. And let's appreciate this 27th day of Lent. Today we will be reflecting on this idea of principle. Our biblical passage is coming from John chapter 5, verses 19 through 47. And we're reading from a text by Charles Fillmore entitled, Keep a True Lent. So first, I'd like to pose these questions, uh, or thoughts, rather. Number one, define principle. After we get done with our reflections, we should be able to do that. How can we demonstrate principle is number two. It's one thing to define principle. It's another thing to demonstrate that you know the principle. Number three, what unifies us with divine mind? What unifies us with divine mind? Uh, and number four, how may we realize the perfect mind which was in Christ? Jesus, just four thoughts for us to have in the back of our mind as we reflect on this idea of principle. I apply divine principles to my problems when I seek spiritual help, when I turn to God with my need, when I turn to God with my needs. As I pray, God reveals right answers. He fulfills my every need. Okay, I'm going to read from the New American Standard Bible of 2020. Again, the passage is the Gospel of John, chapter 5. John, chapter 5. Verses 19 through 47. And it reads thusly. Therefore, Jesus answered and was saying to them, Truly, truly, I say to you, the Son can do nothing of himself unless it is something he sees the Father doing. For whatever the Father does, these things the Son also does in the same way. For the Father loves the Son and shows him all things that he himself is doing. And the Father will show him greater works than these, so that you will be amazed. For just as the Father raises the dead and gives them life, so the Son also gives life to whom he wishes. For not even the Father judges anyone, but he has given all judgment to the Son. It's very interesting. So that all will honor the Son just as they honor the Father. The one who does not honor the Son does not honor the Father who sent him. Truly, truly, I say to you, the one who enters my word and believes him who sent me has eternal life and does not come into judgment, but has passed out of death into life. Truly, truly, I say to you, a time is coming and even now has arrived when the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God and those who hear will live. For just as the Father has life in himself, so he gave to the Son also to have life in himself. And he gave him authority to execute judgment because he is the Son of Man. 
Do not be amazed at this, for time is coming when all who are in the tombs will hear his voice and will come out those who did the good deeds to a resurrection of life, those who committed the bad deeds to a resurrection of judgment. I can do nothing on my own. As I hear, I judge, and my judgment is righteous, because I do not seek my own will, but the will of him who sent me. If I alone testify about myself, my testimony is not true. There is another who testifies about me, and I know that the testimony which he gives about me is true. You have sent messengers to John, and he has testified to the truth. But the testimony I receive is not from man, but I say these things so that you may be saved. He was the lamp that was burning and shining, and you were willing to rejoice for a while in his light. But the testimony I have is greater than the testimony of John. For the works which the Father has given me to accomplish, the very works that I do testify about me, that the Father has sent me. And the Father who sent me, he has testified about me. You have neither heard his voice at any time, nor seen his form. Also, you do not have his word remaining in you because you do not believe him whom he sent. You examine the scriptures because you think that in them you have eternal life. And it is those very scriptures that testify about me. And yet you are unwilling to come to me so that you may have life. I do not receive glory from people. But I know you, that you do not have the love of God in yourselves. I have come in my Father's name, and you do not receive me. If another comes in his own name, you will receive him. How can you believe when you accept glory from one another and you do not seek the glory that is from the one and only God. Do not think that I will accuse you before the Father. The one who accuses you is Moses, in whom you have put your hope. For if you believed Moses, you would believe me, for he wrote about me. But... If you do not believe his writings, how will you believe my words? Thus ends the reading. As we return to Keep a True Lent by Charles Fillmore, um, we reflect on the idea of principle on this 27th day of Lent. This is page 177. Principle and truth are one. Divine principle is truth in a universal sense or as it pertains to Elohim, God. Satisfaction comes to us as we live according to principle. Universal principle, the oversoul of this planet, was working its way into expression through Jesus. The same work that Jesus accomplished is being accomplished by all men, though perhaps very slowly to demonstrate principle keep establishing yourself in certain statements or affirmations of the law 
the more often you present to your mind a logical and true proposition, the stronger becomes the inner feeling of realization. As the principle of music moves through tones, so does the principle of mind move through ideas. Therefore, God, as principle, moves through the expressed thought of divine mind. The mind of each individual may be consciously unified with divine mind through the indwelling Christ. By affirming at one mint atonement with God mind, we eventually realize the perfect mind, which was in Christ Jesus. Have this mind in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, who, existing in the form of God, counted not the being on an equality with God, a thing to be grasped, but emptied himself, taking the form of a servant being made in the likeness of men. I love that translation right there. That's, that was beautiful. I affirm principle is truth. I know the truth. And the truth makes me free. Principle is truth. I know the truth. And the truth makes me free. Principle is truth. I know the truth. And the truth makes me free. Thus ends our reflection on this Friday, the 27th day of Lent. Until we meet again, we peacefully depart, going our separate ways, knowing this truth, that the light of God surrounds us, the love of God enfolds us the power of god protects us the presence of god watches over us wherever we are god is wherever i am god is wherever you are god is thank you god in us through us as us around us through the Christ within. And so it is. See you tomorrow, beloved. Bye.